Say that again. That has to be in 1943. <laughs> Which one were you? Third one. The third one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was your knife. Oh, so you, you were actually part of that yeah. thing. Yeah. So you were kind of like a living history. Yeah, and they're not, you know, I'm 75 years old now, and I was just a little kid then, so. Oh, so do you still remember things? Oh, a few were, things, yeah. A few things? Yeah. yeah. And then you go to school, and the children were very prejudiced. And uh, it was very hard. But we endured. <laughs> we endured. And I think one of the ways that uh, our parents taught us to not think back or strike back or anything, but study more, get educated. And I think that's how all this stuff is. Is to educate people. More hysteria, racial prejudice, and the lack of political leadership. Yes, just to one person? Yes, to each person that was in there. About 20,000. Yeah, but it didn't pay for, well, like for the children that were there, that's a lot of money. Okay, because we didn't earn anything. But for the parents, had branches or you know like businesses and stuff. Yeah, it was nothing. You know, they they really lost a lot. Some people own you know But acres. like people who, like they lost their goods like their businesses and like yes. were they like yes. they were taking away their they had to sell it for hardly anything and then if they own ranches they were very successful but they couldn't keep up the payments well they can you know no were really wiped out. So 20,000 wasn't very much. But it's the apology in the. Uh, yeah, the. Uh, you know, putting a closure to it. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, what can you tell me? What's what's here? You know, this is kind of a replica, uh, just of, of what maybe uh, typical living quarters was for the Japanese in the camps. Mm -hmm. So, army issued cots and army blankets, and one light bulb in the middle of the room for night at night, light at night, and uh, hot belly stove, or you know, stove for keeping warm during the winter. And... So, but, where, where 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 was that? Like where? Were the people uh, deported to what place? Let me show you this map here. Mm -hmm. See that one right there shows the location of ten camps that were built okay. throughout the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, so from California all the way to Arkansas. These were the We had ten camps built. And that was only for Japanese, like agents. And about 120,000 Japanese. Japanese and Japanese. 120,000. In total, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and that was when when, when that started. In 1942. 42. Yeah. Okay. And, and then released in 45 when the war ended. So and those are the camps and the the social life in, yeah. in those camps. Right. This is in Oregon. Did you have any relatives that were? This is my uncle and grand grandparents here. Oh, those are your relatives. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. 
some places like uh, so people try to make the best of it, you know, and try to have activities. Um, so what what were they thinking, you know, when they got deported? What was the feeling, you know, what's what's going to happen to them, especially, you know, given the fact that they were here in the United States? Yeah, and, you know, people were American citizens, but they were still put away, and uh, it's a really a violation of your constitutional rights as a citizen to be put away without any charges and no uh, court proceedings, uh, never a case of sabotage or anything, but the government said it's a security risk, so let's put them away. Mm -hmm. uh, Interesting. Yeah, so I don't think it happened now, and, you know, with the, how things have changed. Right. In 1942, everybody was panicked and uh, well, you look at the, you know, like uh, we rose in the morning and we mm -hmm. raised the American flag and pledged allegiance to our flag. Isn't that interesting? You know, yeah. they're like being put in a kind of in a prison camp, right? And you still show your right. This is our respect country. to, to yeah. the American flag. And the most, in, you know, if you look at this exhibit over here, uh huh. We had. Uh, you know, in spite of being locked up in, in prison by our own country, we had mm -hmm. thousands of young Japanese guys and women, too, volunteering to fight for our country. Oh, they were in a war? Yeah, they were in a war. While you were yeah. in those camps? So their families are locked up, but they're fighting for our country. So wow. it's kind of ironic. That the... Right. And then this uh, unit called the 442nd Infantry Regiment, mm -hmm. 21 Medals of Honor. For their fire. serving in, yeah. in the military. Yeah. Wow. So I think that's pretty heroic for, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is pretty much a replica of the Yeah, it's similar, you know, but what a, your living conditions were like. Mm -hmm. And what about if you had kids? Did you get any bigger place? Yeah, so the, each family was given, depending on the size, so, so much square footage. Mm -hmm. So if you had a real large family, you would get two, two kind of uh, apartments, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I remember as a kid seeing, you know, that, that was the uh, flag of the United States that if you had sons or uh, relatives that were serving in the U.S. military, mm -hmm. you put up that flag in your barracks, yeah. But were, were the people given any explanations back then why they were doing it? Said there was a security risk, yeah. So they were afraid that the people might raise, uh, rise against the right, government? Right, right, yeah. Even though they were American citizens? Right. <laughs> and there was no single incident of, you know, people sabotage or doing anything. Right, but, uh, it's just well, the fear. Yeah, the fear, yeah. So interesting period of U.S. history where something was... Yeah, which right. is kind of... I don't know if you find it in our history books in, in school because it's not a whole lot to talk about it. A, li a little bit, you know, there's right. some mention. Uh, huh? it's, it's the same story with the Indians, you know? Yeah, right, like, right. Don't talk about it that right. much. I mean, it's there, but... Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And where, which, uh, which camp you were in? Jerome, Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah. But you, you left where you used to live here in California. Sacramento. Sacramento. Yeah. Okay. So after the the war, you came back here in California. Right. Yeah. 